to have us today a very distinguished of journalism. He is also an author. Menor journalist and author. He is currently with Asia to Pacific Media Services. Sir Bajit Lin now to share some thoughts on today's function. Hello, everybody. That's the domestic politics of Manipur. <laughs> or Magadan. That is your beef, not mine. What I'm going to talk about is uh, the geopolitics of the conflict in the country next door. Why the country is in such a mess, while well, I can see no solution in sight for the foreseeable future. But it's important to understand not only what's happening right inside the country, but what's happening around it. And the most important actor there, of course, is the same neighbor to the north, China. And that's what I want to talk about later today. Thank you. Sincere admirer of the journalist of Manipur. Manipur is also a land of small newspapers. There are a good number of small newspapers. Manipur paper, English dailies, newspaper published in the dialects of different ethnic groups in the hills. I think the number should not be less than 15 of such a small state like Manipur with a very, not a very, very large population. Generous of Manipur has also been playing a very significant role. Throughout the key quarters of the 20th century, and of course, the this is 16th September last year and 6th January 2024, respectively. We have been organizing many programs such as media sensitization program, seminars, workshops, lectures, and others. And today, I have the privilege to present. This lecture program of Mr. Bertolina, a renowned journalist and author, and author to throw some light on Sina's China shadows in Myanmar and Rhodes in their country. Moreover, I am hopeful that today's deliberation will guide the journalists of Manipur in setting the direction of their pain in bringing and overcoming the ongoing conflict of Manipur. I am also sure that. All attendees will have a chance to enlighten our journey in this armed conflict area by this television. With the ongoing violence that erupted since 3rd May last year, Manipur is still burning. So I feel that this television on silent shadows in Myanmar and Norris in their country will also bring more inclusive perspective and dimension of the present situation of many people.